Hello, in this video, we're going to be creating isometric shape number 14 using Autodesk Inventor. Uh, to do this, we'll start off with this base shape. Uh, we'll fill it around the edges and then add in this uh, circle that goes up and then put our holes through the shape. Uh, so first, we need to figure out the dimensions of the bottom shape. So if we count, a, wall, a rectangle would be 11 long by 2 high uh, by a distance of 4 in our extruded depth. So we need to start with an 11 by 2 rectangle. So start 2D sketch on the XY plane. The rectangle start at, starting at the origin. And we'll go 11 over tab 2 high. Hit finish sketch. And then extrude it out a distance of 4. And then hit OK. That gives us our base shape. Next we're going to fill at the edges like we've done on the last few. Uh, we want it to be a distance of two once again, and we'll click each of those four edges we're working with in this case. And I'm going to rotate it just so it's easier to work with. And now we have all four edges rounded, and we can hit OK. So that gives us that basic overall slot face. Uh, next, I'm going to start a 2D sketch on the top of my object. Uh, now I want to make a circle. If we look back, it's going to have a radius of 2 or a diameter of 4. And I want it to line up with the edge of the shape I already have there. So to do that, I'm just going to sketch a circle. Uh, the center, we know exactly where we want it to be, but I'm going to use the constraint. I'm just going to draw it off to the side so we can center it. So I'm going to put 4 as my uh, diameter. Hit enter. And then I'm again going to use the concentric tool. Click on my circle, click on the edge, and get it located in the right location. Then I'm going to finish sketch and extrude it up. So if we look back at our object, we can see it moves up. Uh, we can count our distance up. It goes, it should go up a distance of five, I believe. But if we count one, two, three, four, five. So again, we go up five and hit OK. So now we have our basic overall structure. Uh, next, I'm going to add in the hole on top because it's a quick, easy one, and then we'll add in the slot at the, to finish up. So the hole on top, I'm just going to use the hole tool. I'm going to put it in the top and make it go through everything like it does, and it's already set through all. Uh, we know it needs a diameter of 2, so we're going to change that to 2. And then we want it concentrically located, so I'm going to have to redo the location of it. So I'm going to click, and then I'm going to click the outside edge to locate it. Now it's the right size, it goes through everything, and I can just hit OK, and I got one of my two slots cut through. Second one's a little more complicated. Uh, it's very similar to what we did on number 11, though. So we're going to go through that same process as number 11. We're going to start 2D sketch, and click on that plane, uh, that top side of the object, and we're going to start with a circle. We're going to make that circle. I'm just going to start anywhere in there, and again, a diameter of 2, and enter. Uh, to locate it, again, I'm going to use the concentric tool. I'm going to click on my circle and then click on the side of my object. Uh, next, I need a second circle, so I'm going to add in a second circle. I want it lined up with the center of the circle I already have, so that's how I'm going to add it in. Again, it's going to have a diameter of 2. And now I want to dimension it a distance of 3 from the center of my other circle. So I'm going to locate it. I believe it's 3. I'll go back and check. It might be 4 in this case. One, two, three, four. It's four in this case. So I'm going to type in a four and click enter. Uh, once I've located it, then I need to connect it with a some lines connecting between the two objects. So I've got it located it, and I need some lines to connect it. Uh, if you want to make sure it's in the right location, we can also dimension from the center of our circle to the outside edge. So I'll do that here. Maybe I'll do that here by clicking the center of our circle and the outside edge. And it's already set at 2, but now it's locked in and fully constrained. Uh, then we want to add in some lines that are tangent from circle to circle. So I'm going to go from circle to circle. Same thing on the other edge, from circle to circle. Uh, we want to make sure these are tangent lines, so you can click on your circle, on your line, and then the circle to make sure it's tangent. Same thing on the other line, using, again, the tangent constraint. Click on the line, click on the circle, and that will lock in as tangent. Uh, then you can finish sketch, and we can extrude this sketch downward into our object. I don't believe I made my object long enough, so we'll have to go back and edit that. But first, I'll extrude, do a cut, 
and I didn't trim those either, so I'm going to have to do each individual component. It still works that way. We want it to all, so I'm going to change it to all and hit OK. Uh, so that gives us the basic shape. Uh, I didn't extrude my overall shape long enough. It looks like they at the beginning, or else my hole is too big. So let's go back and see what we did there. So we count between circles. We have one, two, three, four, so that's OK. So that means uh, we need to extrude it one farther on our overall length. To do that, we would go back to our first extrusion and edit that sketch. So right now it's at 11, I can change that to a 12, hit enter, finish sketch, and then it makes the shape I was looking for. So hopefully this helps in your creation of isometric shape number 14. Uh, if you have any trouble, hopefully we can go through and fix it up, kind of like we did here at the end of ours. Uh, good luck in your creation of isometric shape number 14.